gonna be doing a Pilates 10 minutes pick me up right now. This workout is gonna be around 10 minutes long and it's gonna hit all the group, all the major muscle groups of your core musculature. Core muscles, a lot of time people think it's just talking about their abs, 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 but it's any muscle that attaches to their spine and pelvis. So we'll be hitting not just our abs, but also the spine muscles and the glutes, okay? Let's hit that timer for about 10 minutes. Feel free to modify any of these exercises, especially when I start to pick up my legs. If you have any lower back pain or strain, keep your legs on the ground. Starting with rectus abdominis targets. Basic crunch, lifting the head, neck, and shoulders nice and slowly, controlling the movement without pulling on the neck. I'm going to aim for about 8 to 12 reps of each exercise, remembering quality over quantity. Continue to breathe. Exhale here. Inhale. You want to feel in the correct muscle and not focus on speed. Do a couple more here. Looking good. Now I'm going to start the obliques here. Rotation. Elbows to opposite knee. Basically, both shoulder blades are coming off the ground, one just higher than the other. One of the shoulder blades can be very close to the ground, but you want to do your best to get it off the ground as well. Feel free to keep your feet down. I'm going to segue this into the bicycle, extending one leg out. I'm trying to keep both shoulder blades off the ground now. Looking good, keep breathing. Good. All right, if we're getting a little tired, let's go to our glutes here. Give our abs a break, roll on up into that shoulder bridge. Shoulders, hips, knees, nice straight line. You can keep your hands down by the side. Right now, I'm rolling through the spine, or called articulation. So from tailbone, I peel myself up, resting on the shoulder blades. Just double check you can lift your head every once in a while. You want the bulk of the weight on your shoulder blades and your feet and not on your back of your head. Good. Couple more. Squeeze in the butts. I always like to tell my students, pretend you're picking up a, a $500 bill or a very, very expensive pen with your butt cheek. Good, now we're gonna take away that articulation. So the way we're rolling through the spine, we're not gonna roll anymore. And we're gonna lift one leg off the ground. It's more challenging to roll through the spine when you have one leg lifted, which is why we're gonna take that part out. Push through that left heel whichever foot is on the ground still. We're gonna focus and target all that work on that one butt cheek. Couple more. Good, let's switch for 10. You wanna push your hips up. So once again, there's that straight line from shoulders to your hips, to your knees. The leg is straight to the sky. Try to get as vertical and straight as possible. It's still engaged. It's not just hanging up out there. You can point or flex the foot, your choice. Two more. Good. All right, let's go back to the abs here and hug the knees in. Extend both arms and legs. You can also extend arms and legs, keeping the knees bent. So if you look at my thigh bone, it's basically going from vertical to slanted. I can do that with my knees bent or with my legs straight. So again, just looking at the thigh bone, The straight leg version is 
definitely more challenging. You want to keep that lower back imprinted the whole time for the protection of the lower back. Oh goodness, we've done a ton. All right. Give our abs a little break, flipping over onto our stomach. We're gonna do what's called W to Y. So as I face down, your arms are gonna form W, and then you're gonna to go to a Y. Feel free to keep your arms in W. So here, I lift my head, neck, and uh, chest, all as one unit, plus my arms. So I'm not looking up, I'm keeping the back of my neck nice and long. So this is the W. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Good. And now if we do the Y, we're lifted for a little longer. So endurance of the spine muscles. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach to a Y, to the corners of the room. Pull your elbows back. Squeeze the shoulder blades into that W and down. Inhale. Exhale. Looking good. Inhale. Exhale. You can reference the video and then go right back to staring at the ground to protect your neck. Do one more here. One more. Good. Let's give your spine a little stretch here. A little movement. Okay, so all these muscles around our pelvis, it's also included in our core musculature. So this is called a pretzel. We're just gonna extend our thighs, our hips here, so it's a straight line, shoulders through hips through knees. Okay, I'm gonna actually come onto my elbows here, and then I'm gonna lift my entire leg, keeping the knee and foot level. Imagine there's a row of items all along your shin bone there, and you don't want it to tilt and roll off. So your knee and foot are always at the same height. Okay. So you do want to make sure that it's a flat, straight angle. That's not an angle, it's 180 degrees. Uh, you don't want this knee forward and doing it with the leg in front of you. After you find the right position for your back leg and your top leg, you just position the other foot in front. Good, let's pulse it. Lift. Yeah, this is tough. You're feeling it right here. Outer thigh. Do four more. Three, two, and one. Good, left side. So again, this is a quick Pilates pick me up, about 10 minutes, and we're just gonna hit all the muscle groups at least one time for a pretty comprehensive short workout. Again, flat and then the other foot. So as I look down my body, it's a straight line from shoulders to hips to knees. The tendency is to want to pull that knee forward. It makes it easier. So try not to do that. Lift your leg as high as you can, but keeping the knee and the foot at the same height. It is easier if you pulled it forward and lifted your knee higher. All right, so find what your body naturally wants to do and try not to do it because your body naturally wants to find the easiest way to do something. Good, let's lift it and pulse it. Pulse. So now you should really feel it. When we limit the range of motion at the peak of the mo movement, that's where you really start to burn out the muscle. Let's do four, three, two, Good. We're gonna do some arm work, so not everyone likes it, but uh, it's, pu it's, it's push-ups. We're gonna come into our quadruped position. So your wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. Good. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend my elbows towards my thighs, towards my rib cage. Notice my head is aiming for the floor just ahead of my fingertips. Good, try Try avoid shifting back because that takes the weight off your arms. But we don't want to go too far forward because that puts too much weight into our wrist. So if you can aim for bending the elbows back and with your head coming just a few inches ahead of your fingertips, that's the ideal spot. We're almost there with our 10 minute workout.
Good. You should feel this intensely in your triceps. And we're bracing our abs here. Good. And we're just going to finish with a little plank. Lift the foot if you'd like. Point it. Flex it. And down. Lift. Point. Flex. Down. Option to hold the plank without lifting the leg at all. Try to keep your pelvis level. Try not to let it shift while you lift the leg. Good. A couple more. High gaze on your thumbs. We don't want the hips to drop too low. We want to keep those abs engaged. We also don't want the butt too high either. One more. On each side. Good. Sit back and stretch. We did. Well done. Awesome job. Just 10 minutes a day for Pilates is really, really great for your posture, for your alignment, also, or just your mind. It's great to like establish a habit and just do it every day. You don't need to work out for hours and hours every day. Think of small chunks of where you can squeeze it in.